वेलकम बैक एस इन दिस वीडियो आई बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू यूज एम डी सेफ एस आर थ्री फ्रेम जनरेशन टेक्निक इन गेम्स लाइक हिटमैन वर्ल्ड ऑफ असासिनेशन द विच यू थ्री नेक्स्ट जेन एंड बैनिश कोस्ट ऑफ द न्यू इडन आई बी यूजिंग अ प्रोग्राम कॉल डी एल एस एस इनेबलर यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट स्मार्ट वेबसाइट आई गिव इट्स लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन आई एम ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इट्स फंक्शनिंग सो इन दिस वीडियो आई बी जस्ट शोइंग यू द सेट अप प्रोसेस फॉर डी एल एस एस इनेबलर दिस फ्लो चार्ट समराइज इज इट इट बेसिकली इंक्लूड्स मल्टीपल मॉड्स installs and automatically configures them for us we just need to install dlss enabler in the games installed directory first just download the program scroll all the way up to the top click on files then just download the latest version of dlss enabler click on manual download click on download this tutorial is for a windows pc that has an intel or amd based gpu dlss enabler also works on nvidia based gpus both rtx and gtx gpus are supported There is only a minor difference in installation instructions for NVIDIA based GPUs. Just don't install the Intel and AMD support package via DLSS enabler for NVIDIA based GPUs. I'll be testing these games on my ROG Ally. I have the set for an extreme variant of this device. ROG Ally has an AMD based GPU. It's Radeon 780M RDNA 3 based architecture. I'll kick things off with Hitman World of Assassination. I own the Epic Games version of this game. First open the games install directory. Just click on the three dots below the games box art. Then click on manage. Then click on the folder icon. This is the games install directory. Just open the retail folder. Here you'll find the games exe file. There it is. Just copy this directory. I've installed the game on an SD card. Samsung Evo A2 rated, 512 GB capacity. Samsung Evo Plus. I yeah, just copy this directory. Run DLSS enabler setup file. I accept. Next, next. Paste Hitman's directory here. Next. Select the first option. We'll be installing Universal DLL version of Nukem Nice Mod for AMD and Intel based GPUs. Select this option. Don't enable this option if you have an NVIDIA based GPU. Click on Next, Install. Wait for the process to complete. That's it. Uncheck this box. Click on Finish. Go back to the Games Install directory. Where the Games EXE file is present. This directory. Here you will find many mods installed. XCSS. This is the upscaler that will be used instead of DLSS. So you just need to execute this registry file. Disable NVIDIA signature checks. Only need to execute it once. If you have already executed it before, don't need to execute it again. If you want to revert the registry changes, just execute this registry file. Restore NVIDIA signature checks. We are ready to run the game. My ally is running on BIOS version 338. I have set the UMI buffer size to 6 GB. Install AMD's technical preview GPU driver. Adrenaline Edition 24.5.1. Command center settings using a 25 watts manual profile. All three power values set at 25 watts. 900p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected by Cosmic Bytes. The Laris Gamepad to Ally via 2.4 GHz band wireless mode. Run the game. Don't change the settings from the game's launcher. Start the game. We'll be changing the settings from the in-game settings. World of Assassination includes the campaigns from Hitman 1, 2, and 3. The remix. Show you the internal in settings. Facing enable, facing enable, anti-lag setting enable. That's it. Using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics. In-game graphics setting. 900p resolution. Exclusive full screen mode. In-game facing disable. Yeah, we have access to DLSS frame generation. Select DLSS upscaler from here. XCSS will be used using its quality preset. DLSS frame generation disabled for the time being. Not using ray tracing. Most of the settings are set to high. Make sure you disable reflection quality. Otherwise, there will be some graphical artifacts. And that's it. Load a very demanding level. Here we are getting around 70 FPS. Lot of non-playable characters. 
as you can see wow the lighting looks beautiful so gorgeous 66 fps this game is very nicely optimized here we are hitting the gp bottleneck vram usage is around 3.8 gb agent 47 Even without frame generation, game is running very smoothly on ROG Ally. Always good to see an optimized game. Now I'll enable frame generation on. Yeah, it's working. Camera is floating. Oh my god, 100 FPS. Just explore the area. Very smooth experience. Just amazing. How are you today, sir? I'm fine. Running around, looking for my target. There he is. Ninety FPS. Game's heart is not flickering. Not observing any artifacts around our character model. Okay, time to kill this guy. <laughs> not going to survive. I'll be testing the next game. Now I'll be installing DLSS enabler in The Witcher 3. Install it on an SD card. First, open the game's install directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, go to manage, then click on browse local files. You need to open bin folder, then open x64 underscore dx12 folder. This is the directory where you need to install DLSS enabler. Just copy the directory. There's the game's exe file. Run DLSS enabler setup. Simple process, except next, next, paste the game's directory here next select the first option universal dll version of nukem 9 mod check this option enable support for amd and intel based gpus next install that's it uncheck this box finish go back to the games install directory as i have already executed the disable nvidia signature check registry file in the previous setup process i won't be executing it again if you have installed dlss enabler for the first time run this registry file I'll skip this part. We are ready to run the game. Even for this game, I've set the UMA buffer size to 6GB. You need to set the resolution to full HD. If you run the game at either 720p or 900p resolution, game's interface will flicker. 25 watts profile. Game's adrenaline settings. Make sure radiant anti lag setting is disabled, otherwise, frame generation will not work properly. Facing and basing enabled. That's it. Graphic setting, I am using the medium preset. anti living set to DLSS using its balance preset. XCSS is used, motion blur disabled. These effects are optional. Medium. Display settings, make sure resolution is set to full HD. Display mode full screen. DLSS frame generation disabled for the time being. Reflex enable. This is my current location, the offense of Crook Backpop. There's Carol. Here we are getting around 40 FPS. Check out the input response. I'll engage in combat, looking for some wild creatures. Select Igni. 36 to 40 FPS. Not a very smooth experience. Hitting the GP bottleneck. There's the feature. Three of them. Oh my god. Forgot the controls. Okay, now I'll enable frame generation. It's on. Yeah, back to the game. Wow, the game is running so smoothly. Here we are getting around 63 FPS. 
check out the input response camera is floating frame generation is working interface is not flickering i'll engage in combat what happened to those creatures they retreated found them drown us fps is staying around 60 Need an ability point. I load another area. Standing right at the entrance of Novigrad, there's Roach. Entering the place. If you want to gain a few more frames, you can use the performance preset of DLSS, which is actually XCSS. 56 FPS. Smooth experience. <laughs> Ran over everyone. Oh my god. Mod works very nicely on the wrong ally. Stunning visuals. Take this part. Heading for the market. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Now I'll be testing the next game. It's the demo of Banishers, Ghost of New Eden. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open NWD folder, open binaries folder. Open Win64 folder. There is the game's exe file. Copy the game's directory. Run the setup file of DLSS enabler. There is the exe file. Click on I accept. Next. Next. Paste the game's directory here. Next. Select the second option, not the first one. Win mm.dll file. Check this box. Enable support for AMD and Intel based GPU. Next, install. That's it. Uncheck this box. Finish. Open the games directory where the game CXE file is present. You'll see many mods installed here. Again, you need to execute this registry file. Disable NVIDIA signature checks. Only do this if you haven't done this already. As I have already executed this file before, I won't be executing it again. We are ready to run the game. Just launch the game CXE file. Even for this game, I've set the UMI buffer size to 6 GB using the 25 watts manual profile. Head tunnel and settings. Enable free sync and basing. And deluxe setting enable. That's it. Video settings. Display mode set to full screen. 720p resolution. Now, before installing DLSS enabler, just make sure anti lazing upsampling is set to TA. I'll just change to DLSS using its quality preset, specifically XCSS. Frame generation disabled for the time being. Motion blur disabled. Most of the settings are set to medium. Shadow quality set to low. That's it. Install the game on an SSD. There's a character. We are looking for a partner. And there. Here we are getting around 50 FPS. GPU load is around 70%. So single core CPU performance seems to be the bottleneck. Decent performance even without using any frame generation technique. Who's there? 45 to 50 FPS. Should be the correct part. Why would you go up there, Uncle? Open. Yeah. I have my sword. Kill this creature. Perfect parry. Now I'll never frame generation. 
set it to on apply can observe the added amount of smoothness fps is around 100 now not observing any graphical artifacts games hard is not flickering another feature compass tough enemy perfect parry stun the enemy destination is nearby made it and there is inside this building need to take out this witch and disappear charge attack getting around 120 fps and that was a perfect card Hold on, taking a lot of damage. Stored my health. Just spamming the attack. Which should disappear. It's multiple copies to find the real one. Staggered 80 to 120 FPS. Fight is still not over. Excellent experience on Rogue Ally, which got me. 